This is a bad idea. Come on, Tess. Skating is fun. I don't have the ankles for it. Shoulders I have. Elbows I have. Ankles I ain't got. Snap your wrist, okay? Snap it. Good. All right, way to go. I knew you could do it. Let's go. Yes, I sure did. You keep that up, you're going to be the only 11-year-old in the NHL. That'd be cool. Ooh, Is ha. that them? For you. Yeah, that's the crates. They seem like a perfectly happy family. Yeah, they do, don't they? They're not? No, as a matter of fact, the Craig is skating on thin ice these days. Can we go home yet? Not yet. Oh, come on, Michelle. I thought you were our number one fan. I want to see Aunt Holly. It's my sister. She's coming in today. Well, that's right. That's, that's great. Mommy's going to be a lawyer. Is that the hospital? It's the hospital. Gotta go. All right. Great job. Bye, hon. Bye, dear. Uh, 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 uh. Not a word. Not one word. Holly. <laughs> so weird to ring the doorbell, the place where we grew up. I'm so happy to see you. It finally feels like home. Come in. Come in. I know I'm late. You're not going to sue me, are you? Well, I could. I know how. Your hands are freezing. Where are your gloves? Oh, listen to you, living in the house. You're starting to sound like mom. <laughs> Aunt Holly? She's here, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. I don't want you coming down until you finish your bath. She's been dying to see you. Where's Ray? He's a... Uh... At the hospital. He'll be here before dinner. Really? That's a first. Must be a slow night. Oh, this place looks great, Linda. You have the touch. I don't think I have the touch. You don't need the touch. You have tenure. True. But you can't curl up with tenure. Don't pretend you don't love it. You're half the reason I went back to school. Really? I deserve the credit. You are half the reason you get half the credit. Come on, let me show you around. What's Linda hiding, Tess? Well, it's something bigger than what's in that closet. When you walk down the road, heavy burden. Fix up my old room for Alex. And I've got your old room, Aunt Holly. Mommy said you can sleep with me. Oh, that sounds like fun. <laughs> hey, thank you. So what on earth made you buy this house back? It came back on the market. I walked through it last year during an open house, and it still felt like home. Some of my best memories are here. Well, here's a crazy idea. For once in our lives, I'll wash and you dry. I want to see how the other half lives. Well, I welcome a night away from Pruny Fingers, please. Can I help you? Sure, honey, come on. Uh, Michelle's got her hands full here with geography. Geography already? Yep. Got to start early now to stay competitive. These two are going to do better than a state college. You did well enough to get into medical school. Right. I get in despite what they taught me, not because of it. I don't care where you went to school, Ray. Some people are just born to do what they do. It's probably not a better ER doctor in the county. Right? Right. 
So how many law firms have you applied to? Uh, Linda's not jumping into anything. Linda? Is that true? You know, it's taken me seven years to get this far. I haven't even thought about what comes after graduation. Fine. First, you graduate, and then I'll help you write the world's greatest resume. Deal? Deal. Uh, Linda, maybe you and I should be discussing this. Fine, you two talk. I'm going to run upstairs and get your graduation gift. Be right back. You haven't told her. You told me not to. Since when does that make any difference? You tell her everything. Not everything. Okay, come on. <laughs> ah, future home of Linda's law degree. That's cool, Mom. That's real cool. See? Here's where it goes. Now, uh, you're equal. Thank you. <laughs> That's great. I'll get it! Hi. Uh, good evening, folks. I am the walking lost and found. My gloves! Thanks, Coach. I owe you one. It's no problem. Oh, there's a problem, all right. If you can't keep track of your equipment, give me that. I'm going to take it away from you. You're grounded from practice this weekend. But, Dad, that's not fair. Well, rules are rules. Right, like you've never made a mistake. Okay, now you're grounded from everything. Okay, you don't go out of the house till Monday. Ray, I mean, don't you think you're being a little harsh? It's about time you learned if you don't take care of things, you lose them. We'll discuss this later. I'm late for my shift. Okay, you finished with your schoolwork? Thank you. Sorry. I'm sorry about that. Um, Holly, this is Andrew Alex's hockey coach. Andrew, my sister Holly. Hi. Ray's had a hard day. Um, I hope Alex's missing practice this weekend doesn't hurt the team. No, we'll miss him, but we'll get by. I'd really be enjoying it. I, I don't want this to be something that gets him away. No, don't forget Alex. Alex has a lot of potential. What the? He's very dedicated to this game. You have a gun in the house around kids? Holly, the kids don't know what's there. Ray thinks it's good protection. And what do you think, Linda? Have you read the statistics on home invasions? They're terrifying. Look, I'm not the only one who's read about them. I'm sure Andrew has as well, haven't you? Yes, yes, I, I have. Um, but personally, I'm not very comfortable with guns in the house because I, I've seen what can happen. We'll discuss this later. Um, excuse me, it, it's nice to meet you, and I hope that you have a, a nice visit. Thank you. And please tell Alex that, um, that uh, we'll see him next week. I can't believe this. You swore you'd never have a gun in your home. Look, Holly, I can't discuss this now. I have to help the children with their homework. Discussion? You stay here, okay? Stay right here. What happened? She fell. <laughs> I was I'm going up the stairs and I lost my balance. Oh, Linda. <laughs> oh my god, Ray, she's bleeding. There. Put some pressure on it. I'll get I'll get the first aid kit. Oh God. It's all my fault. It's all my fault. It's nobody's fault. It was an accident. What are you doing down here so late? I right wanted to talk. And no, I'll open it. Good evening. Hi, may I help you? We received a domestic disturbance call. Oh, you did? From who? It was anonymous. They usually are. People don't like to get involved in other people's problems. Oh, there's no problem here, officer. I mean, my wife and I were having a discussion, but... 
I hardly think that needs a police referee. Are you new to the force? I don't recognize you. I'm Dr. Ray Craig, County General Hospital. Nice to meet you, Dr. Craig. Uh, do you mind if I come in? I'd like to make sure everybody's all right. Are you okay? I'm fine. You're not fine. Wife hit her head on the wall. Thought you fell. I did. I am. Um, I fell against the wall. <laughs> yeah. So, sorry you're out here for nothing, officer. I think we should take a trip to the hospital anyway. I find it's better to be overly cautious, don't you, doctor? No, oh, of course. I'll get your coat. Don't worry, doctor. I'll make sure they get there safe. Linda, it's probably none of my business, but I need to ask it anyway. A couple's fight, okay? It's not a crime. It is, if somebody gets hurt. Holly, did you call the police? No. You know, if you did, race can I... What? What will he do, Linda? Linda, it's me. Tell me. What is going on? Promise me you won't say anything, okay? To anyone. You can trust me, you know you can. There have been some, um, some changes at the hospital, and they've been a little rough on Ray, and... And he hit you? Sometimes he just gets so angry. Sometimes? You mean he's hit you before? This is ridiculous. We've been here an hour. Ray runs this place. Can't you say something? Look, I don't want to ask for any favors, okay? Favors? Linda, your husband is chief of the emergency room, and you can't get in. He's not in charge anymore, Holly. What? He made a mistake in the emergency room a couple months ago. Uh, the nurse told him that a patient had an allergy to, to a drug, and he didn't listen. Or maybe he forgot, I don't know, anyway. Um, the patient almost died. And they fired him? No, 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 they... They made him step down. They reassigned him to the dialysis clinic. Uh, fewer hours, less pressure. Less prestige. And a lot less excitement. That's what made him so good, you know? The more exciting it was, uh, the better he was. But now when that beeper goes off, it's... You know, it's not a six-car pileup on the freeway or a, a gang shootout. It's just the clinic. Well, no wonder he's so angry. He doesn't get to play God anymore. It explains a lot, but it doesn't excuse it. Linda Craig? Do, do I know you? Your husband just phoned, and he's found a babysitter, and he's coming right over. Okay, thank you. Uh, it's not okay. Can you excuse us? Well, I could, but if I did, I wouldn't be doing my job. My name is Tess, and I'm from Family Services. And Linda, your chart shows that you've been seen five times in one year. What? It's funny. I, I, I have two kids. I'm always tripping over their toys. Linda... Tell her the truth. Tell her what Ray's doing to you. Linda, there are people who can help you. And Ray. Look, we're fine. Okay, we don't need anybody's help. Thank you. What about your children? Ray never touches our children. Oh, that's nice. Just you. There you are. Have they kept you waiting all this time? <coughs> I swear this place is falling apart. Well, I'm here now, baby. Everything's going to be okay. Thank you, Ray. All right. I'm so sorry you're hurt. Let's get you in there, all right? I'll stitch you up myself. Everything's gonna... Everything's gonna be great. I don't think so. Look, tomorrow's her big day. Let's just get through this so she can calm and rest, all right? She's tired. We're all tired. You're just full of reasons not to look this thing in the face. Uh, excuse me, but this is a family matter. I don't... Well, good, because I'm from family services. Well, right now my wife is hurt, and I think that takes priority. I think so, too, but somebody else is gonna stitch her up, sweetie. Come on, baby. Mommy, 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 you're back. Hi, honey. 
everything's okay. See? I'm fine. Alex, you gonna say hello to your mother? Hi, Mom. Hi, honey. Hey! You're supposed to be at hockey practice today. But I thought you said... Uh, look, let's forget about last night, okay? It was a bad night, all right? Yeah. Let's just wipe it away, clean the slate, okay? All right? Because your Aunt Holly will take you to practice, because your mother needs her rest. It's a big day today, okay? Oh, hey, Alex, do you know what? <clears throat> what? You know those skates you're asking about? Yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, what do you say tomorrow? We go and get you those puppies. Do you really mean it? Yeah. Thanks, Sad. There you go. Uh, what do you say we go and I'll fix you up a shake? How's that? Okay. All right, let's go. Oh, no. You too? Oh, he's being so sweet. You're going to let him off the hook just like that? He said he was sorry. Didn't you see how sorry he was? I see how sorry he is now. What about the next time? There's not going to be a next time. He promised. Okay, the case is over here now. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hello. Mushroom. What? Mushroom. I just discovered them. They're kind of ugly, but they have a certain zip. Ah, uh, no, thank you. Can I talk to you about your sister? Linda doesn't really want me talking to strangers about uh, their problem. Hiding a problem doesn't make it go away. As a matter of fact, keeping an ugly problem in the dark just makes it bigger and uglier. Like mushrooms. And then I used to talk about guys all the time, what we would and wouldn't take from them. If they didn't call when they said they would call, they were history. How could she have let this go so far? This isn't a date that she's on. She's married to Ray. He's the father of her children. It's very hard for a woman to ask for protection from her own husband. What she needs now is to have you beside her, believing her in her corner. I've always believed in her. I've always been in her corner. It hurts right now? She said she didn't tell me before this. Well, she has now. And she needs you beside her to help her take the next step. Yeah, well, as far as I'm concerned, the next step is to kill him. She can't mean that. No. I'm so angry. Anger is responsible for all of this. And it doesn't solve anything. Facing the truth and getting help, that's what your sister needs to do now. But if she won't listen, there's nothing I can do. There's always something you can do. You just have to wait for the right time. I just hope it's not too late. Ray has turned into a very scary person. Off the ice. Go. Looks like there's more than one angry man in your family. What? Close your eyes. Come on. Close them. Close them. All right. They're closed. They're closed. What are you doing? <laughs> Ray, they're beautiful. <laughs> what are you doing again? You're my princess. You mean? <laughs> come, come. Come on, your highness. <laughs> what are you doing? No wish. My command. Oh, really? Anything. Anything. I, 
was thinking, you know that, uh, that woman we met last night in the hospital, mm -hmm. uh, Tess. Maybe she has a point. Yeah, what did she tell you? You know, honey, this has been a hard year on all of us. And maybe talking to somebody would help. No, no you don't need any help. It could hurt. It doesn't matter now. I promised you it's never going to happen again. But what? But what? But what? You don't trust me either? Linda! He started a fight at practice. Alex? Yeah, the other boy's very lucky Andrew broke it up. Alex, Alex could've... go upstairs, get dressed. We leave in 15 minutes. Uh, somebody needs to talk to him about this. He was totally out of control. You just don't understand hockey. It's part of the game. What I don't understand is you. But couldn't this wait till after the graduation? You can't put something like this off. Stay out of this, Holly. I can't. He's my nephew. He could have hurt somebody. Can't you see it? He's acting out like the father. This whole family needs counseling. I said it's part of the game. Now shut up. Shut up. Shut up. There you go. Child services called. The children are fine. They're going to stay overnight at the group home, unless, of course, you'd like them to stay longer. Are the kids? Dress for graduation. No, wait, we have to leave in 15 minutes. Let me take care of Mrs. Craig. Take her right to the ambulance. I think she's in shock. Come on, Mrs. Craig. I'm really sorry, Holly, but I'm going to have to take you in. Ray was my best friend in high school. Do you know that? Great guy. We were just talking. Just standing there. Never shot a gun in my life. Please, don't say anything else till you have a lawyer present. I don't want a lawyer. Don't need one. I, I had to stop him. I couldn't let him hurt her again. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to handcuff you, Holly. Sorry, my hands uh, won't stop shaking. These are your rights, Holly. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. It's going to be all right, isn't it, Monica? Please don't turn on the siren. It'll wake up the kids. You finished that water, baby? Here's another one. Drink all of that. You feeling better? Dave. Linda, I just want you to know I'm doing everything I can for Ray. We all are. How are you doing? How serious is it? It's pretty serious. It's all right to cry if you want to, baby. Ray doesn't like it when I cry. Well, it seems to me Ray doesn't like anything. That doesn't mean he's always right. Oh. How long are you going to try to hide this punishment? It's nothing, okay? And that cut on your lip, that's nothing, too? What matters right now is Ray. What about you? When are you going to start to count? You're not going to report him, are you? He's, he's gone through so much at this hospital. How long are you going to keep trying to protect him? I love him. Do you understand that? And he loves me. What he does to you, baby, is not love. You sound like my sister. Well, then maybe it's time you start listening to her. Any news? Not yet. He's still in surgery. Monica, what choice did I have? He was out of control. He was going to kill her. And so you shot him. I'm not sorry. Thank God you gave me the advice you did. What do you mean? You told me I couldn't stand silently by and watch. I never meant for you to shoot him. 
What would you have done if there hadn't been a gun? Watch my sister die. Tess. Oh, and I'm glad you're here. It's going to be a long night. Holly thinks she did the right thing. And honestly, Tess, I don't know that she didn't. Well, the right thing should have been done long ago. Long before it became life or death. And we got here too late? No, sometimes angels are sent to help people make choices. And sometimes we're sent to help them live with the choices they've already made. Nothing yet, baby. Linda, I know this is difficult for you, but I'm going to need to take a statement about what happened tonight. My husband was shot. Yes, I know. Have you any idea why? Tess, I need to speak with you. What's Andrew doing here? Ray. You were shot with the gun from the closet, do you remember? Violence begets violence. And the violence began with you. But that can all stop right now. No, I'm not a nurse. And I cannot heal you. But there's someone who can give you all the healing that you need. You're still alive. And where there's life, there's hope. And I want to give you that hope before it's too late. If you want to make things right with God. Are you ready? I am an angel sent by God to tell you that he loves you. Well, did you see her? Is she okay? Yes. Linda's right outside. She's making her statement. <sighs> Thank God she'll tell him what happened. Holly, I just had a call about Ray. He didn't make it. Oh, my God. No. Oh. I didn't mean to kill him. I just wanted to stop him. Oh, my God. Ray's death changes everything. Until Linda testifies that you were defending her, the district attorney is going to charge you with murder. I saved Linda's life. Ask Linda. She'll tell the DA what happened. I just did. Linda, I'm so sorry. Thank God you're okay. Linda, I didn't come here for apologies. What are you talking about? You murdered my husband, and you're going to pay for it. I can't believe this. Are you serious? Yes. You killed him. That's what you told them? Linda, he had Alex's hockey stick. He was going to kill you. No, he was angry at me. He was trying to scare me. He never, ever hit me with anything. Except his fists. You never understood our relationship. You can't have a relationship with somebody who is beating you to death. Linda, you were bleeding. I begged him to stop. He wouldn't listen. You know this. I know exactly what happened. And I will be telling it to a jury. Linda, don't walk away from me now. I need you. We've always protected each other, always. Remember? We're in this together. We always have been. All the way back to... Back to the closet. 
I don't know what you're talking about. Then tell him your sister. Not anymore. You go back to the closet, Linda. You stand there and you remember what happened. And then you come back here and you tell me what I did was wrong. I am your sister. I have always taken care of you. What closet? What are you talking about? Is there something hiding in the closet that can help you? Why won't you tell me? Because it's a secret. And I made a promise. To my sister. I came home and I am. Um, picked up the phone. I was gonna call the funeral. I thought this can't be real, you know? <laughs> if I sit here long enough, I'll wake up. But I can't. Oh. This is a terrible tragedy, Linda, that no one wanted to happen. No one. But now that it has, we don't want it to get any worse. It can't get any worse. But it can, for Holly. I don't care about Holly anymore. I don't believe that. Holly said something that really upset you. What was it about? I don't know. I don't remember. Perhaps I could help you to remember. How? By praying. Praying? A police officer. Every officer of the peace knows something about praying. Father, here we are. We're looking for truth. We're looking for peace. We need your mercy right now. And we need your wisdom. We're filled with questions. Only you have all the answers. Linda has lost her husband. And we now commend him to your care. But we really need your help for the people left behind to make some sense of all of this. We know that it's not your desire to see this family fall apart, but this family is breaking piece by piece. Please, help us to gather the pieces that are left. You praise if you expect an answer. It's the best way to get one. Alex, where are you going? Out. What do you mean, out? It's just out, okay? No, it's not okay. I want you to stay in today. But, Mom! I said no, I mean it. I think we just got our answer. This is the kind of response you get from your prayers. Answers from God aren't always easy to receive, but they're hard to mistake. It's a cycle of abuse in this house. And it didn't start with your husband. 
It's been in this house for years. Oh my God. Don't be afraid. I am an angel and God has sent me here no. to... No. Please don't hurt me. Please. I would never hurt you. Please. Oh, don't be afraid. God would never hurt you. Listen to me. He loves you. God loves you. And he never wants to see you hurt again. You're an angel. Yes. God is real. Oh, yes. Very real. What does he want from me? He wants you to trust him. <laughs> There's never been a hymn worth trusting. All the hymns you've ever known have always hurt you, haven't they? <laughs> you know, lots and lots of people, and I have a terrible time trying to imagine God as a kind and loving father. Because the only fathers they've ever known were not kind or loving at all. And the word father only means pain or disappointment to them. Sometimes even terror. Were you one of those people? Tell me about the closet. I know that it's a secret, but it's never been a secret to God. And he says it's time now to let it go. I can't. Yes, you can. You hid the gun in the closet. But what else is hiding in there? My father stood there. He was beating my mother again. I was uh, six or seven, maybe, but... But I started hitting him and yelling, Stop it, Daddy, stop it! And then he turned around and he grabbed me and I started screaming and my mother started screaming. But Holly... Holly, she ran out the door. And I remember thinking, maybe she'd be the lucky one. Maybe she'd escape. And he just kept kicking me. And all I could think of was at least she'd gotten away. And then I looked up. And she had come back. With this rock. And our eyes locked just for a second. And I cried. Throw it, Holly! Just throw it! <laughs> I'll never forget the look in his eyes as he wiped the blood from his face. He didn't say a word. He just... He just walked out. And Holly and I were so afraid that the police were going to come and take us away to juvenile hall. That we hid the evidence. We hid the rock under the closet floor. And your father? He never came back. We missed him, you know. We hated him. We loved him. And we missed him. And when you got married, you weren't about to have another man walk out on you, no matter how he treated you. I think that deep inside, I wanted Holly to come back and save me. Oh my God. Oh my God, Monica. God forgive me. She did. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh.
You believe in angels? I don't even believe in you anymore. It was still there under the floorboards. It's all my fault, huh? I should have done something about Ray the first time he hit me. I should have gotten the gun out of the house. And I should have told you what you were walking into. I guess I bought that old house back because I figured... Hey. If he was going to hit me, it should be... someplace that I felt comfortable. Are you okay? I'm sorry. Oh, so am I. The charges have been dropped, Holly. I told them the truth. And I even told them about the rock. And how you've always been there to take care of me when I couldn't. And when I wouldn't. You're my sister. Are you gonna get through this? Yeah. With the help of God, we will. Tell me about Tess's last moments with Ray. It was sad. I'll never get over why people wait until the last minute. How can human beings expect to recognize their creator when they've spent their lives so far away from him? Maybe they're like Linda. Maybe they're afraid of him. There's a lot of fathers out there giving kids a bad impression of what the real father is like. I can't stop thinking about Alex. He was so angry that day. Still a lot of work to be done. That's true. But the good news is, we are not the only angels in town. I got it all cleared off for you. Let's see a nice throw axle now. Come on, make me proud, angel babies. 